Greetings folks, my name is Duncan and welcome to Uncle Duncan Shack. Happy New Year to you all, compliments of the season to everybody, hope you're well. And welcome to a little video where I'm going to be talking about embedding a nut in your 3D print. So as you can see on the screen here, I've already got a design open and if I spin it around you can see inside there's our hex so what I'm going to do is just backtrack on this and you'll be able to see how I designed it so let's go back it does not want to let me do it Okay, let's start a new one and you can see how it's done. I'm using Design Spark. So, Control N for new, Control S for save. And what I'm going to do, let's just select this one, let's close that one. Um, no, <clears throat> go here. And I'm going to save that. So now we started off with a blank slate. To start off with, I'm going to select a circle. And I'm going to give that a diameter of 12 millimeters. <clears throat> I'll explain why I'm going. Well, uh, this is just a little sample project. We just want to show how to put a nut inside a 3D print. So select that plane. I'm going to pull up 2 millimeters. Now we're going to stay on that plane and the nut that we're going to be using is a 5mm nut. That means that it's 8mm from flat to flat and the height is 4mm. So what I'm going to do is going to select polygon. Let's zoom in so you guys can see. Drag it out and I'm going to give it some clearance. So I'm going to type in 8.5 millimeters. Okay. What I'm going to, what then want to do is extrude this edge once again, giving it a bit of clearance. So we're going to start pulling up, and I'm going to tell it four and a half millimeters. Now we've got our recess in which the nut's going to sit. Now we need to close this up right so what I'm going to do is select the center and another 12 millimeter circle okay then I'm going to select pull I'm going to go up and I'm going to go two millimeters as well this doesn't need to be big so now I know that I've extruded that hexagon up two millimeters and below it it's hollow. Now I'm going to add the outer edge, also two millimeters by pulling up. And now this has become closed. Now we want a hole through which to put our screw in. So I'm going to select the surface, select circle, click on the center and enter the dimension for the circle. Now we need to make a hole. So we select pull and I'm going to pull down till we see that we've gone through the material. And now when we re rotate it there's our part with a recess for a 5 millimeter M5 nut. Okay. 
Right, let's save that. Now what I'm going to do is we are going to export that as an SDL. It does exist, so I'm going to overwrite that file. Now I'm going to bring in my slicer. And here's where the magic's going to happen. I've got a Flash Forge Adventurer 3. So this is Flash Print. So we're going to add the file. There we go. Now I'm going to tell it to slice. And... I'm going to start off with default settings. Okay. I'm going to tell it to slice. And it's going to slice. So my default settings here was PLA 210 degrees C and extrude of 50 degrees C on the bed. Default settings that the program gives you. Okay. Now I'm going to Go to close that, we've sliced, go to preview, and there are, there are insert the nut. So we're going to find out we need to know which layer to do that at. So what I'm gonna do Let's pull this down to that layer, to the first layer where it closes up the hex. We look at that number, and that's 41. Now we need to do a little bit of maths over here, because we need to subtract the raft from that, because we've told it we want a raft. So what we're going to do here pull up on the raft until it see it starts with the part and that's five layers so it's it's five layers for the raft that we need to subtract so going back up to 41 that's where we wanted to pause so what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the pause at 41 minus 5 which is 36 so I'm going to re-slice go to others add a pause layer and tell it it needs to be at 36 it's already got the number in because I've done a test run here I've rehearsed this I'm going to say OK and there it has it and we slice again All right, and now I can power up my printer and we can print the part and we'll watch it pause I'll insert the nut we restart the print finish it and then I'll show you what it looks like be back with you in a second when we do the printing folks and there we have it this is what it looks like when you have a nut embedded into a blind hole in your 3d print you can see how the screw threads in what it looks like one can of course stack these at um, various heights in your print you can pause multiple times you can have them spread around it's a very versatile way to embed um, nuts into your print so that you can have 
parts that assemble together the blind holes it's physically very strong and useful so I hope you found this useful I hope this is going to work for you I'm going to be using it in my own prints in the future if you'd like to leave comments down below some constructive criticism that would be awesome for the rest awesome 2022 for the all of you I'll see you around thanks for tuning in take care thanks cheers